Hello, I realise I'm quite late making this guide, but it, this is my guide to making money with motorcycle club businesses. The first thing you need to do is buy a clubhouse to start your motorcycle club, and then when you've got a motorcycle club, you can buy some businesses. There are five choices, and I'll go through the choices in a minute. First off, for a motorcycle club, you want to. I've chosen one in the centre of the map just because of if you're doing a mission as a motor, as an MC, I'm going to say from now on, uh, as an MC, then obviously you can cut down some of your travel time if you're halfway up the map and you've got to go to the top of the map, or if you're in the city, you still haven't got to go too far to come back. There's only two types of um, things that are worth buying in customization of an MC clubhouse. Uh, obviously, if you buy the living quarters, you can spawn here. And then once you've got your businesses, you can go straight to your computer and see how they're doing. So you know if you've got to go and fill them up or sell them. Uh, the other one is if you want to customise motorcycles, then get the motorcycle workshop. I haven't bothered with this particular character. I have on my main character. As you saw there, you just go into the Maze Bank foreclosure site on your phone or computer, and then you can choose a clubhouse to buy. Um, the main advantage of having a motorcycle club over um, CEO or being a VIP, obviously VIP you can't really do very much, but CEO, um, the businesses that with this just run in the background all the time once you've got the supplies, they just keep running and fill up for you to sell later on. Um, and also you can have eight people playing together to do the missions instead of just four for the CEO. So every time you do a mission you select it from this wall it's in your motorcycle club's boardroom, I don't know what you want to call it, but that's the best thing I can think of. You've got that big table with eight chairs on it. Um, you go to the wall, you've got a map showing you roughly where they are and a description of them. You also get a garage that will store ten motorcycles. Um, you can also bring in, your friends can, you know, who are in your motorcycle club can also ride theirs in here and they'll stay here for the time they're there. If you bought the custom garage it would be where I was just looking then. And then the main purpose of this, of course, is that you can organise all your businesses from here and you come round to the office. That little bed thing there, that's it. It costs you a lot of money to be able to spawn here, but that's all you get for your money. So to buy a business, you have to come onto this open road here and then um, you'll go in and you get a choice of five different businesses you've got. Actually, if you look on here, you see I own one, the cocaine, because that's the one that pays out the most. And if you come on here, you can see down the side, you've got forgeries, which is uh, documents, which is rubbish, weed, pretty bad, counterfeit cash, not too bad, meth and cocaine, they pay out pretty good. Because um, this is my second character, I don't have that much money, I'm going to go with counterfeit cash just to show you how it all works. So you choose a place, and again, I'm going to choose the cheapest one. And then um, when you get there, you can customise it, but I wouldn't bother doing that. You want to save up your money and, and get the thing full first and then save up your money to do it because it will boost what you've already got anyway. So once you've chosen a business, um, of course, remember leaving yourself some money So, because I would recommend you buy the supplies, but we'll do that in a second. Um, you go there, you do a setup mission after having given a quick tour of the place to start with. And then after that, you get lots of phone calls from the Pillock LJT who runs it telling you that you're almost running out on all that but you have to listen to them in case you're being raided it's quite simple to avoid being raided anyway just don't spend too much time as an MC so if you walk into the building then join the MC go to the place and either steal the supplies or um, buy supplies which is what I always do then um, obviously you can't get raided once you've done what you're doing in there if you're going to steal obviously you're going to do the mission if you're going to buy then leave your MC straight away, walk out and then just join again once you get to your next business and there's no raiding. doesn't really matter if you're pretty much empty because you don't get raided normally, well at least I've never been raided less than a third full. If you are raided it's normally a fairly simple mission of turn up, kill all the cops, go and find where they're taking your supplies and your staff, um, normally in the back of a police van shoot the drivers on that and then take the van back and that's it you've saved everything however you only get one life to do it so if you do die then obviously you've lost all your stuff and you've got to reopen the business um, 
if you turn up in an armoured crew or something like that where you can't get shot that's going to make it a damn sight easier as I've mentioned a couple of times I always purchase my supplies just because the amount of time you waste in stealing supplies you could have easily earned that 75 grand that it costs you um, and also you know it doesn't pay anyone who's helping you to do it so it's quite hard to get people to join you and do it because if you can get a four or eight if you're lucky in your MC then obviously one supply run will do it but most of the time you're looking at three or four for yourself to do just to fill up the bar so obviously spend 75 grand go off and do stuff whether that's for personally normally running the CEO and filling up my businesses on that like stealing cars or whatever in between um, or doing the double money stuff so once you've got all your supplies and either purchased or stolen it comes to selling if you're on your own you can sell should be one vehicle if it's less than one and a quarter bars of a product bar if you purchase the upgrades that one and a quarter bars can be worth more and it affects what you've already made as well which is very useful um, personally I tend to fill the entire thing up and then sell with a group of friends if you can get a full eight people obviously it's only going to be a maximum of four vehicles you can then get some you know air support from helicopters or whatever and then it's going to be a lot easier for you hopefully this has been a useful video for you um, I don't upload that often but when I find something or if someone asks me to make one then I will do so please like and subscribe and thanks for watching